Hello and welcome to a Green Man video. I'm Matt. Right, so I got back from London on, it was the 8th of November. So I've been back about a week. So I'm sorry for no videos last week. I just kind of took the week off. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm back from London and the MBH Motor Show was great, featuring Top Gear Live. That was great. I got loads of video content from it and my camera was really good and I could do some great zooming in and yeah I hope you look forward to the video coming up soon. I will upload it in about a week because my computer hard drive is well it's it's 500 gigabytes and I've got a lot of video on there a lot of music and a lot of photo and loads of other stuff so I'm running out of room basically so what I've done is bought an external hard drive one terabyte so that should be coming by the end of the week and then I can start storing all my video on the external hard drive so I wanna you know when I got my hard drive I can move all the video from the show onto that and instead of my computer because you know if I make one video or two videos that's about two gigabytes so I'm using up memory very fast so be patient with that and I will have that video up soon as well as I promised in the summer a turkey video I went to Turkey for my holiday and the same reason with that I've got about 10 gigabytes of video so I'll put that on there as well so you'll have two great videos coming up in about a week or two because it'll take me a while to edit the, both of the videos because they've got tons like I said right so back to the show uh, yeah it was really good I got loads of photos using my camera which were all really good I also got quite a bit of stuff from the show uh, some photos there I got these these books when we went in everybody got these at the show this is a, a Nissan GTR book and it's basically just an advertisement but it's still quite a nice book with you know photos in there uh, so those are nice I've got, I've got quite a few of those books and I got these things which were used in the actual Top Gear Live one side says cool and right and that's red and green and uncool and left and you could actually we were, we, were play, we were playing a game in the big arena against the other side of it and we were actually controlling a car on a screen using these cards so if you wanted to turn left you'd hold up green and then right is red and they also had some cars coming out and Jeremy would talk a bit about it say how fast it can go how much it is what he was thinking about it and if you thought it was cool, you held up the red side. If not, if you thought it was, oh, it's a disgusting car, you hold this car up, this side up. And they've got some clever uh, cameras and a computer system which can tell, you know, which side most people have got. And like a, a thing goes up and down and overall it, it finds out if people think it's cool or uncool so that was pretty good so I've still got some of those as like souvenirs and they gave you a program a brochure show guide whatever you want to call it when you went in so everybody got one of these and it's just you know map and some cars and stuff in their adverts you know it's quite nice it does say on there just there 13 pounds and they were free and why anybody would pay £13 for that, I don't know, because it is mainly adverts, to be honest. So that was good. Got some of those. So those are cool to keep. And, you know, you went round and people just handed your stuff as you went round and you're just like, oh, thanks. I got these, uh, something I got. Some ice scrapers for your car to get the ice off in the morning, you know. Like that. But well, the best thing, I got this t-shirt, it wasn't free, it was actually quite expensive. Got in the official Top Gear bag here. 
Got a t-shirt. Quite a nice souvenir to have. So it just says on it, Top Gear Live. And then on the back, it has the uh, the venues for the tour, because it's a world tour, it's in quite a few countries. The Birmingham uh, events finished the weekend just gone. And I think there's one in Glasgow maybe, and I think there's one in Ireland as well, and then there's a few in other places around the world as well. So that was nice, that was a ni nice to get our t-shirt, even though it was expensive. It, it cost £20 for this t-shirt, but I suppose it's a souvenir, you can't buy it in a shop. So, you know, like I said, it's nice to have that. And if you if you want to go to the show, it, I think it will be back next year in London and Birmingham. And it's reasonably priced. Uh, I got some money off this year because I went last year. But I think the cheapest one is about thirty to forty five pounds, and the most expensive, which which is a platinum ticket, is something like one hundred and fifty because you get to go behind the scenes and stuff like that. But I wasn't really you know, bothered and I didn't want to pay that much money so yeah so if you want to go next year it will be here happening. Uh book early as well. Book try and book as soon as it come as soon as the tickets come out because uh you want to get some good seats. My seats were alright this year uh but you, ideally you need to be right at the front because well it's just the best isn't it really so there you go I went to the MPH Motor Show and it was really good featuring Top Gear Live and you know it was probably better than last year and I would recommend it so like I said before the video should be coming in about a week maybe a bit longer but uh, it will definitely be, definitely be coming and I'm sure it will be great so thank you for watching this video see ya